We just boarded Icon of the Seas and our room is already ready because it was ready when we boarded. This is a... Um, infinite something, something? This is an infinite balcony. Okay. Wait, the door, the, the <gasps> window is opening. What? As, wait, all the lights turned in? on as we entered here. Oh my God. <laughs> what? We Can have, I get the pink one? Yeah. <laughs> we have free hats. I can't, it's so cool how it's opening as we come in. Wait, I wonder if it closes to like save on electricity costs <gasps> of like air That's conditioning. That's cool. Look how many papers. Oh my God. <laughs> There's so many papers. I hope one of them is a cruise compass. Oh, there it is. Yes. Cruise compass. Okay. It smells so fresh and new. It does. Okay, so this is an infinite balcony. You can't really go outside. So there's no door here to like completely close it off. But you can see like where the carpet changes is kind of where- Like the outside the meets the inside yeah. kind of. Should we try it? Yeah, let's try it. Cause this is the most important part of the room. Who cares yeah. about that part? This, I know. This is interesting. This is what we booked this for. Okay. Do you have to hold it or can you just... Okay, oh. Oh, you do have to, okay. What's your first impression? <laughs> I think it's a little high. No, oh, the bar is high. I think I wish maybe like slightly lower. Um, I don't hate it. I know I, I know that you have an issue. I'm skeptical of this. With it being like one space instead of you having like a yeah. separate balcony space. But if you look at um, the side of the ship, you can see that there's a lot of these infinite balcony rooms. I think it might be the largest, like, like. Like there's more of this than anything else. Exactly, that's what yeah. I'm trying to say. You know. It's, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> it is. I'll put it back, but yeah. I don't think it's that bad. No. I mean, it's not as horrible as I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> we have to test it on the sea day. Yeah. I feel like it's hard when we're at port. Yeah. We'll give you a full review later. It is kind of annoying that you have to hold it. Oh, that is weird, yeah. I wonder, there's instructions. <laughs> Captain may close window due to weather or cleaning. Ensure furniture does not block the blinds. Do not place anything on veranda window. The chairs are nice. You know what? They, you look at them, they look nice. You sit in them, not that comfortable. Oh, really? Yeah, you should try it. Okay. What is this, a Royal Caribbean mattress? <laughs> <laughs> Let's check the actual mattress. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Okay, so here's the rest of our room. Okay, ready? Yeah. <gasps> Is it better? Did you see that bounce? Wow. It's I, nice. Okay, that's that's an That's okay. an improvement. That's an improvement. You know what I'm just noticing? USB port on the Whoa. lamp. Oh, but it's not USB C. Get with the times. I'm kidding. There's little shells. There's USB ports there. This one has an actual plug. Oh, that's cool. There's like these little baskets. <laughs> Whoa. That's that's actually nice. It's like, I thought it was gonna be like a drawer, but it is like a full on basket. And then this is the closet. Oh, robes. Oh, that's nice. It's, 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 it's interesting how it comes over the bed there. Yeah, like I'm sitting here. It's, that's, it's interesting. Yeah. So not the biggest closet in the world. Yeah, not my favorite closet. But there's a bunch of drawers on the desk. All right, let's check out the bathroom. Ooh. Oh, wow. This is nice. It's a different design. <gasps> I was like, is this gonna open in or out? Yeah. It opens like halfway in oh. and halfway out. Let's get a sense of the, the size. Wait, are the towels in the shower area? Yes. What? That's weird. Okay, this way, not a lot of room. This way, so much room. Okay. Okay, so don't shower like this. Shower like this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised they actually gave us some like separate um, shampoo and conditioner and stuff. Yeah, that's nice. We have to get a better sense of scale. Of course. I'm six feet tall. That is kind of cool. Like this is, <laughs> it's a small bathroom. It is. It is small. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually pretty good. And like that shower head isn't even up all the way. So you can move it up more. There's actually, like, this is actually not bad at all. There's a bench here. Yeah, I like that. The towels in the shower is so weird. But it, they're high enough up. No. Well, we can move them. I think we'll have to move them. Yeah, because there's a bar right here. We can put them on that. Yeah. So far, I think the room is good. I think that's really small. 
I am a little disappointed in the storage space here. Yes. Because I like drawers. I don't like hanging up my clothes. And there's so much hanging space and not a lot of drawers. This is a seven night cruise. So we have a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, that might be hard. We'll figure it out. I think we'll have to put stuff underneath the bed. Yeah, and in the baskets. Yeah. Okay, we're hungry for our second lunch. Snack time. Somehow. So we came to the back of the Pearl, to the Pearl Cafe, and there's a big whale. Wow, made of metal. This is basically Cafe Promenade because there is no Cafe Promenade on this ship. This is cool, you could just grab stuff yourself, like grab and go stuff. Nobody had to get this for me. I could just grab it. That's pretty cool. What is it? Thai. Thai sweet chicken penne. And then there's a lot more stuff over here that you have to ask for. I'm gonna get the barbecue chicken sandwich. Oh, wow. Okay, we got a table right by the huge pearl. This thing is massive. Um, and then what'd you get? I got the, the sweet Thai chicken pasta, but I also got a fruit tart. Wow. I got a barbecue chicken sandwich, which looks like it's on like a um, like biscuit. Oh wow! And this is a mozzarella sandwich. Did they heat it up for you? Yeah, they're both That's hot. Nice. Yeah. So we came up to the top deck, the pool deck. We're actually in the water park area, but it's kind of empty. But we came up here because we're about to sail away, and in the app it says that there's going to be inaugural sailing fireworks. And they said so, on the starboard side. So we so came the, over which here. Which is the right side of the ship. And we're going to check it out, hopefully. It says it's at 5.45, which is in three which minutes. Which is in three minutes. I'm a little skeptical of this. It's also like, it's sunset. It's not dark yeah, yet. It's not dark. Can you have fireworks when it's not dark We've yet? seen it on Disney know. Cruise somehow. Yeah, that's true. So I'm excited. We've never seen that kind of thing happen before. No. But here we are in Miami. Sun is setting. So not dark yet. Oh my God, we're moving. We are moving. We are literally moving. No. Yes, we are. So where are the fireworks? <laughs> we're slowly moving. Oh my God, you're right. There's no, there's no ropes and... Oh my God. Oh my God, it's happening. <laughs> it's 5.45. It's 5.45. Give me a firework. There are like a storm, hurricane sound effects coming from category six. Or is it just coming from the air? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hear the storm. It's so funny that there's a storm sound effect. But I don't know. Where are they going to launch these from? I figured, like, somewhere over the water. So here it is in the app. Inaugural fireworks display. But where is it in real life? Where? Oh, my God. It's over there. Yeah! <laughs> Woo-hoo-hoo! Maybe they should have waited for it to get a little bit darker. Maybe just a little bit. Because I could hear the popping before I could see it. Yeah, me too. What's better, new cruise ship smell or fireworks smell? Uh, the, new, the fireworks smell on the new cruise ship yes. smell. Yes, <laughs> only at Starbucks too. The ship is gonna lean this way with everybody coming I know. over here. <laughs> Surprisingly, the show has been going on for like ten minutes. They just keep going and going and going. It's kind of amazing. But it's it's kind of amazing to be part of this brand new class of ship. It's yeah. a big deal. It really is. Like we're leaving Miami for the first time. We've never been given something so special as a fire. It's so cool. There's so much excitement in the air. Yeah. All the fans. Yeah, like, I mean, look at everybody here. <laughs> yeah, everybody's a royal fan. They love it. Brand new class of ship. It's a big deal. It is. Okay, I think that's this is the finale. It's been an impressive fireworks show. Yeah, it really has. There it goes. Bye, Miami. <laughs> We came back to the room and we actually just noticed the hat says inaugural sailing. So that's really cool. And this is our first time using our infinite balcony. Out at sea. While moving. Look at it. It's kind of enclosed. You don't get that full outside feeling, and, you know? And you know what I was also saying? It's like, I liked the idea of like, oh wow, our stateroom is like extended because of it. Mm -hmm. But it's not like it's anything different than just a balcony. It's not like they mm -hmm. added more storage because of it or anything. It's like, it's like more space, but it's like wasted space. Almost. Yeah. So yeah. I, I'm not so sure I'm in love with it quite yet. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. What's awesome is our next two days are two days at sea. After that is St. Kitts. But I'm just so glad we have two days at sea. 
Just to ship. explore the ship, hang yeah. out. I feel like there's so much we still have not seen. So There's a million things, yeah. Also, I think this is really cool. The, the room key is special. It says icon of the season, inaugural season. And it's got that purple pink color to it. I don't know if we've seen like special room keys before. No, we? I don't think so. I don't think so either. They also gave us this, which I think is really cool. As like a theater geek, I really enjoy it. It's so, like an entertainment guide. Yeah, so first they give you all of the entertainment leaders on the ship. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, here's the Wizard of Oz section, which is the, the main show. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, here's all the cast in it and like here's all the people that worked on it and it's like you never really get this which is no. something you normally get when you see a broadway show and they do it for everything like here's the aqua dome show and like oh by the way i think we're gonna see that tonight yeah we are yeah I'm so excited and so yeah like every show on board they have like every person listed which i think is really nice for the performers too mm -hmm. like to have recognition and yeah it's almost like a playbill and then we found out this book here has like all the art Mm -hmm. from the ship. All the art around the ship, yeah. So that's exciting. And then we haven't even really gotten into all this stuff, but they did give us a physical cruise compass, so... Which is special. It is special. It looks very classy, very nice. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff here that we really need to go over. So now that we're, you know, heading into international waters, the shops are going to open. And we need to find the main Royal Caribbean shop. We don't even know where that is yet. I think it's near the Starbucks, which, you okay. know, everything good is near the Starbucks. Yeah, I might have to get some Starbucks. But, um, but yeah, we need to get the inaugural season merch before it sells out. Because I think it might. Because I, the th there are so many huge Royal Caribbean fans. People with Royal Caribbean tattoos we've seen. For sure. No, like, I, I, I feel like we're, like, here's the top fan on board. We're, like, down here. <laughs> and, like, we're big Royal Caribbean fans. Yeah. So, like... There's a lot of fandom here. Lots of Pinnacle members too, For which sure. is the top tier of the loyalty program. Yeah, so we do need to go get that stuff. Okay, we're walking down the Pearl for the first time. I remember people were like, is this gonna be a ride? Is it gonna be like a movie thing? But it's really a staircase that's like also an art piece. Okay, this is the line for the merch. It's insane. This is actually oh crazy. My God. It's like Black Friday. I didn't think, I, I thought people would be here, but I didn't think this many people would be here. It's gonna be a mad rush. It's, it seems small in there too. Okay, I just went through the gauntlet. It was like, it was Black Friday. I watched as far too many people went into that shop. It was madness. People were shoving. I knew that I would have a panic attack if I went in, so I stayed outside. Yeah, Carrie was like, I can't handle this. I'm like, okay, I'm going in. <laughs> and I I was like, I don't know what I, because I don't know what they have. Yeah. And everybody was like talking about the ship model. I'm like, okay, I, I do want the ship model. I can envision that selling out. Yeah. So yeah. I got it. Unboxing, wow. Honestly, I, I would have had a much harder time getting this, but uh, we met someone who watches our videos, Gerald. He helped me get this, and he like threw it to me, and I, like I caught it. Wait, did he actually throw it to you? But he kind of, he like was like reaching over a huge crowd, and then I got it. How did he it. know that you wanted it? Tucked because I we were in line, and I told him. Oh, that's awesome. And then like I like. <laughs> We actually got our Diamond Plus discount on this. Oh, that's nice. So it was like $65. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still high, even with the discount. But look at this box. Whoa! Okay, that's good packaging. Yeah, this is cool. It is really cool. This is the hot item to get. I'm sure. They also have like a lot of like inaugural seasons, like shirts and, yeah. and hoodies and stuff. But I think once it dies down, we'll go back. I genuinely think in like 10 minutes, it'll be better in there. Yeah, I do think this will sell out. Yeah. So Giovanni's is right above our location. And I don't know if you can smell what I'm smelling, but it smells like pizza and pasta. It and it smells so good. It does smell so good. At first I thought like, oh, Sorrento's is kind of far away, but I guess that's Sorrento's. But then I was like, no, no, yeah. this is our dinner tonight. Yeah, I want to just drop this off and then put on jeans and then go. And on our door, we just noticed. Look at this tiny little baby duck. It's a duck magnet, it's tiny. Cruising ducks, TM trademarked on Icon of the Seas inaugural but, cruise. But they saw, they saw our magnet Lover. that says looking for ducks. And, and so they put it there. there. I've That's never cool. seen a tag this small. Imagine if someone used a tag this small on one of the big ducks. Oh, then it would actually make it sense. It would actually make sense. Oh my God. 
That's cool. That's incredible. We haven't noticed this before, but above of, above Sorrento's is like a New York street, and there's people in the windows and a cat. Oh wait, no, that's, that's a dog. That's a dog, for sure. But look, this guy's like doing comedy, and these people are like watching oh. and laughing, but then like people live above the place. This is kind of cool. Yeah. And then it even extends over here, the city facade. And there's a fortune teller. Should I get my fortune told? Um, what are you waiting for? Oh. Come on over. Okay, yeah. My fortune. Round and round the ball will spin till it draws your good luck in. It's talking about the sphere on the promenade. No, it's talking about the roulette table. Oh. <laughs> I got dressed for dinner. We're back on the promenade. We're gonna start off the cruise right at Giovanni's. Pizza. I love the location here on the promenade. Okay, we got our table, and to start us off, they brought some garlic knots. Now, these are in the Hall of Fame, right? Or were these revoked? I can't remember, but they have, I feel like they've gone in and out. This is something that sometimes is like the best thing I've ever eaten in my life, and sometimes it's somehow a miss. I don't know how that happens. So I'm gonna take one and see what we think. Okay, okay, one bite. Everybody knows the rules. It's a miss? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's good. Remember. Okay. You'll have to try. I think it's really good. It's not Hall of Fame worthy. Yeah. No, I agree with that. This is the most like uh, changed recipe. Either changed recipe. Wishy washy. Wishy washy. This is the most wishy washy Hall of Fame. Yes. Item. I almost think we should revoke it because if it if it's not consistent. If it's not consistent. Then it can't be on there. You okay. It's out. Yeah. It's dead. Go. So. But I swear, the first time we had it on Freedom of the Seas, it blew my mind. Yes. But I guess they changed the recipe. I don't know. Yeah. It's out. We need a specialist to take down the award for the garlic knots. Yes. <laughs> okay, so our dinner time cue today is from Takedown Specialist. And they say, what are you most looking forward to on Icon of the Seas? What a great question. I'm going to go first. Okay. Uh, and then I'll let Carrie say her top thing. Mine is the new food, is the new restaurants, like Pier 7, um, Surfside Eatery. We haven't tried those places yet. That's Base what? Camp. Base Camp, yeah. Deserted. Deserted. We already tried Aqua Dome Market. I know, so is that like four things or is that one thing? I think that's, your answer is one thing, but it's like all those things. Yeah, well, we just got our calamari that we ordered. It, it looks good. It looks so interesting. I've never seen calamari look like that before. Okay, so now you have to answer quickly because... Because we need to eat. Because <laughs> now okay. we have to eat. I always, from a little girl, I was always a water park girl. My mom will know I always begged her to go to water parks when I was a kid. And so what I'm really excited about is to try the Category 6 water park on board. And honestly, like, just to like hang out on the ship at all the new pools and just like lounge around and relax. I'm super excited for that. Yeah, I'm super excited for this. It smells really good and it's gonna get in my belly. Calamari. It's not a circle like it no, normally is. this one's like a square. It looks like a potato. Yeah. Wait, is that a calamari or is that? Or is that oh, there's polenta. It could oh, be polenta. Okay. Well, we'll. Find I was gonna out. say like oh something fell in the fryer. <laughs> It's actually really good. We got um, Alfredo sauce and marinara sauce on the side. It's really hot, really thick. It's actually pretty good. Look at it. I mean, it looks like a fish stick. Yeah. It's good. Okay, so we got our entrees. We got the margarita pizza. It actually looks really good. It looks very tasty. This is actually in the Hall of Fame. It might have been revoked. Uh, this is another wishy-washy one, okay. but I do, we haven't revoked it. It looks good. It does. And then we got the chicken parm, because we have to compare it to Paolo. Yes. I feel like in comparison to Paolo, it won't live up to it, but yes. it looks good. We'll see. Yeah. So, we just got back from Italy a couple months ago. Their pizza there was very soft. We kind of yeah. prefer a crunchier crust. We like crispy. This is a crispy crust. It's good. And I really enjoyed it, and I'm excited to see what you think. It looks really good. It tastes really good. So we're sharing both of these. The chicken parm is nowhere close to follow. I figured. Like, 
Yeah, but this is so uh, so thin and crispy. I love that. Yeah. Great leopardine. For sure. Excellent. This actually looks really good. It is really good. Again, I feel like on Freedom, that one time, like, Freedom, like, was mind-blowing. Yeah. And this is still really, really good. Yeah. So it's going to stay in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Sometimes things are wishy-washy. This is, it's like different than that one time. It, 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 it feels like a different recipe. Yeah. But it's so still really good. You never know what you're going to get, but most of the time it's going to be good. Yeah. Okay, so we were just up there. Now we're, we came down. It's so chilly. I need a jacket. Oh, well, I, I have just the thing for you. Let's go ahead in. It's called the shop. It's, it's calmed down a little bit. So now we can actually see what they have. They have some inaugural season keychains. Whatever this is, it's limited edition, so we have to. So we have to have it. But I don't really understand it. It's like a little paperweight that's made out of metal. And it's authentic. It's really cool, but it's kind of expensive. Yeah, I don't know. How much is it? I don't know. We don't need it. We need it. No, we don't. It's $85. Why? We don't need that. But it doesn't say inaugural season. Does it even say icon on it? No, it just says that. Okay, well this one does. This one says icon. I found a full zip hoodie. This is a big deal. You love a full zip. I think it actually fits. Show us the back because that's the most important part. Icon Boom. of the seas. Wow. This is cool. I'm gonna get this. Yeah, that's yours. Does it fit? It fits perfectly, I okay. think. Here's what's crazy. They have Royal Caribbean now has dog clothes. It's for your first mate. It's adorable. They also have dog toys, which I actually think we should get because the 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 um the outfits are a little too small, but the toys are perfect. Oh, the toys are cool. Doesn't she need that? Comet would be way too big for the largest size. Comet's a big girl. Yeah. She's a big girl. She's cruised too much. <laughs> they have a rain jacket. And I was noticing like, wow, it says Icon. But then underneath of it, I'm pretty sure these are nautical flags that say Icon. And That's then over cool. here, there's a hat. And I was like, what is that? But those those symbols match up with this. It oh, says it Icon. Say Isn't that crazy? By the way, we're going to get the dog toy. We're going to get the dog toy. I found this nice sweatshirt for myself. And Brian's getting his jacket. This is some good stuff. Yeah. We came, we were looking by here earlier today and like there was like a ton of these and now like they're all gone. Like there was a different one here, it's all gone. Like all of these are gone. But I'm getting this one. This is actually the back. But this is cool. He's an adorable little whale. We've learned that it's Vineyard Vines. It, like the stuff is going fast. It is. As it should because it's good stuff. It is good stuff. Yeah. Okay, so, so far the elevators are working like well like, we're pleasantly surprised because yeah. normally we see a packed elevator and we're like now nah, we'll take the like, stairs we just took one like that's why normally we take the stairs yeah but anyway it's time for some dessert so we came to deserted we didn't want to get dessert at um giovanni's not when this exists yeah <laughs> that sucks why would a dessert place close at 8 p.m i don't know it's closed what that's kind of stupid okay we have to find our dessert elsewhere that's crazy. Windjammer? We haven't even stepped foot in Windjammer yet. Okay, let's go. Let's go to Windjammer. Yeah. Let's make sure that's open. Because things are crazy right now. I'm shocked that the dessert place closes at 8. Windjammer closes at 9 and it's 8.47, so let's go. Okay. <laughs> Red velvet whoopie pie. Okay, we found the dessert. Oh my god, it actually looks good. What is this tornado of fish? I don't know, but I like it. And look what they have for us. They knew we were coming. Oh my god. Link? Wait, can I get a tray? Where are the trays? <laughs> I think the tray is just getting a plate and then putting little baby oh, plates on it. Oh, that's a good it. idea. This is like a chocolate sculpture of Icon in Stormy Seas. That's probably going to be us soon. Actually, it looks more like Oasis. Wait, that's Oasis. That's not Icon in there. Wow, they're trying to fool me. Uh, Look at this weird bear. But it, it's cool. It's almost like the Midnight Buffet type of sculptures, you know? Yeah, oh, that's nice. We're just discovering the Windjammer's huge. First of all, it looks out over the Surfside area. But we're like, we were like, wow, the wind jammer is huge. It, it's so big. And then we're like, wait a second, it's doubled on the other side as well. It is literally like right here. I was like, wow, this is so big. There's a second side. What? <laughs> this is crazy. I think this is much bigger than like the Oasis class. I think this from what is I can the tell so biggest far. wind jammer I've ever seen. I got my plate of desserts. I got a, a brownie with popcorn on it. I got the key lime pie, I got chocolate chip cookies, I got carrying oatmeal cookie. They have cheddar biscuits. What is Whoa. this, red lobster? <laughs> the food actually looks it good. It looks good. There's more. <laughs> oh my God, there's more desserts. Look how, was, was Ant-Man here? The giant donut. Oh my God. What is that? It's a bunch of donuts. Look at this. Wow. 
So in the back, there's this whole gluten-free area. They have pasta, chicken corn, It's actually um, a lot salmon. of salmon. Yeah, it's kind of a significant amount. If you're gluten-free, this is the place to be. I need to, first of all, I need, oh, I almost lost it all. Oh no. Okay, I need to try the key lime pie, because obviously we're experts. We've had the key lime pie in the, like, the main dining room. There's a little ki uh, key lime um, candy. Oh, like a- Like a gummy, like wow. a sour gummy, it looks like. Is it good? It's actually good. Wow, I'm shocked. Look, you can even see that there's the key lime zest on it. Wow. You see that? This is surprisingly good. Wow. I'm, I'm shocked how good this is. Cause you know, Windjammer desserts. Yeah. They yeah. always look better than they taste. Exactly, but no. Okay, so now I have to try this key lime pie. I don't know if everybody remembers, but at the very beginning of our key lime pie tasting video, I did say like, I'm not that big of a fan of key lime pie. But you I, became a fan. I became a fan on that day. But so now I guess I'm an expert, even though that it was just that one day. It's surprising. What? I know. This is good. I know. Like this could compete in Key West, honestly. You could tell me this is from Key West, and I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> this is the shock of the curse so far. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this was this is better than anything we had at Giovanni's, and I'm not even kidding. Giovanni's, it was slightly... It can be hit or miss sometimes. The pizza was good. It was, yeah. Something really nice about Icon is it's really well decorated. And even over here, we're in between the two windjammers. There's all these popsicles. <laughs> I'm just sitting on a popsicle. We're like in between the two windjammers, but the decorations all around the ship, I think they did a really good job. I'm also, I'm thoroughly impressed with this windjammer. Yeah. It's ginormous. I mean, we came like when not a lot of people are here, so I don't know. That's true. Like we'll really like judge it like when it's like a lunch. When it's in you know? session, yes. Yeah. But still, it seems Honestly, gigantic. I mean, yeah. Honestly, like this ship is impressing me a lot so far. I was like a little skeptical of like, is it going to be just like Oasis, but... I really thought it was. I, I came in with very low expectations because Me I was too. like, oh, it's just, it's just a lore, it's a symphony. I didn't want to set my expectations too high. Exactly. Outside of Windjammer is a local fresh. We will be getting that at some point. <sighs> I feel like it should swing more. Oh, it's kind of limited. Yeah. It's not the most comfortable. <laughs> really? Because it seems like you look really comfortable. <laughs> Okay, what about some of these other Okay, but these ones over here. Am I supposed to like climb on them? Oh. I don't know, I don't wanna like break it. <laughs> I, okay, but try this one. How is it? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> What's cool though is you could stargaze at the sky and the moon is huge right now. Except there's like a blinding light. They've got like a spotlight on oh, me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, so never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good concept. No, I, I like this. It's fun. We're just walking around the pool deck area, just checking things out. This is Cloud 17, is what they call it. But it just looks really nice. It's like how it's like a winding path. It's not just like a straight line. And there's different types of seats. So like there's the traditional lounge chairs, but then over there there's like single chairs. There's like some of these two-seater day beds. And like, look how cushiony these are. When I first saw the chairs, I was like, wow, this seems like something that would be in the adult section. And then I was like, oh, this is Cloud 17. This used to be the adult they changed section. It. Yeah, before the ship started sailing, they changed it at the last minute. These are nice. But this is really nice. Like these, having so many of these cushiony chairs out here, it looks really nice. And look at this. I'm almost like, does this need to be reserved? I don't think it is a reserved. I don't think so either. No. But yeah, we're just like walking around, checking things out, because we still have so much to explore. Here's one of the pools. I think this is the main big pool. It seems the biggest. And honestly, I'm a little surprised that net play area isn't a pool. It yeah. seems like it should be. I agree. I like the palm trees in this area too. They have these like all over the ship. They have them in the hideaway. They have them like on the other side. Does this palm tree have a little parrot on top of Wait it? Wait a second. It does. <laughs> That's a good find. That's, that's like a hidden, adorable. Instead Wait, of a hidden I Mickey, get closer. That's, that's a hidden parrot. That's so funny. I love him. I can't believe you spotted that. Well, you were like, I love these palm trees. And I was like, oh yeah, there's one. Wait, what is that? That's cool. I wonder if there's more of those guys hidden anywhere. Yeah, or like different creatures. We must find them. We made our way over to the base camp area, which is like a restaurant. 
type thing and there's all these flags. Carrie's working on decoding the message. This is very important. My guess is base camp. Drinker Ovaltine. Huh? <laughs> Drinker Ovaltine. I don't get it. Okay. I'm very upset. <laughs> it's it's nothing. It's, it's a, gibberish. It's a bunch of mumbo jumbo. On Disney, they hide stuff in yeah. these. Why can't you do that? As far as we can tell, it's not anything. It's just like flags. Like it's like it was like M eight R. Like it, maybe it's like the password to like the captain. The Wi-Fi. The yeah. captain's Wi-Fi. His yeah. special Wi-Fi network. <laughs> okay, we came to the Aqua Dome. We're gonna see the show. It's called Aqua Action. Action. Should we go buy some more stuff in this store? Yeah, buy the hundred thousand dollar cup. Okay, we got our seats and we have the best seats. It's like right in the middle. This is the perfect spot. Okay, so the show just ended. It was actually pretty cool. We were a little bit worried that we were only gonna get like a preview of it, and I yeah. do feel like perhaps there might have been it some things missing. Might have been incomplete. Here's what's crazy. They just filled that pool with water 10 days ago, they said. That is mind-blowing so to me. They haven't had much time to practice. And it felt like a full show. So it was basically um, like movie soundtrack. Yeah. Like they had Star Wars, um, uh, James Bond. They did Pirates of the Caribbean, which is a little insensitive. Sherlock Holmes. Oh yeah, piracy, I'm so yeah. sorry. Um, but there were like different segments too. Like there was like the diving segment, they did a slack line segment, they did an aerialist segment. Then um, then like there was like fountains coming from um, the ceiling and then at one point they had shooting fountains all the way up to the ceiling. My favorite part though was probably the most simple act, which is where they were holding flashlights and just dancing with them. Yeah. There wasn't a whole lot of like Almost like skill, but it was because of like the the staging. It was so cool, and you can only do it in this venue because it's dark in here. You couldn't do that on an Oasis class ship because there's nowhere for the flashlights to reflect. Okay. Another, really cool. yeah, that was like during the Star Wars segment, and there was like red and blue for like, or like yeah, red and blue for like dark side light side. And what's also cool is what you can't do in the Aqua Theater. That's what it's called, by the way, yeah, the Aqua yeah. Theater. We couldn't think of it before. <laughs> Um, they can project onto the ceiling. They can't do that in the aqua theater no. because there isn't a ceiling. Yeah, it was very cool. By the way, while we were talking here, I found a duck hidden. What? Let's see if you can what? find it. In its natural habitat. <laughs> here he is! Wait, Wait. It, it says icon! Wait a second, what? That's cool! <laughs> oh my god. Wait, okay. Wait, is it... Keep or hide, you decide. What's that? Is that like a computer chip or what is that? I don't know, but it's cool. Wait, no, this has There's some... something in it. Wait, is there something hidden in this duck? Yeah. Wait, it says something on here. I hope it's money. I feel like it's you're supposed to like open it with this. <gasps> oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> That's the duck of all ducks. Duck. Okay, I feel like this is a keep. I'm oh not hiding god. this. This no. is a keeper. Welcome on board the largest cruise ship in the We've got to do the royal oath. So everybody, please raise your right hand in the air and repeat after me. I. I. State your name. State your name. <laughs> do promise. Do promise. To have a great cruise. To have a great cruise. I promise. I promise. To eat as much as I can. Okay, so somehow Carrie stayed up late enough to see the balloon drop. I'm very tired, but at least I have my support animals. The no. proof, proof that you were there. Yeah, the balloons. It was pretty cool, it, it was so loud. It was incredibly loud that it was impossible to talk. I feel like I'm losing my voice because I've been so excited all day long, and then there's just been loud music everywhere that I'm trying to talk over, and so like, voice shot. We don't have enough room in our stateroom to keep these balloons. It's two balloons, come on. Oh. Come on. 
Yeah, we got our magnets up. We oh. got a compass. Our stateroom attendant was here. He gave us a cruise compass. I love that. We didn't even ask for it. Amazing. Love to see it. No towel animal. No towel right. animal. It's night one. That's typical for yeah, night one. Yeah, night one, it's, it's not usual for it to happen. Yeah. I'm going to let the balloons watch the water go okay. by. But they're not going to fly into the ocean. No, because the, the thing isn't down. So they're just going to watch and enjoy their So night. that's what this area is for. Exactly. Balloon storage. Yes. I think I'm going to pop them because I don't want to deal with them. Don't you dare. <laughs> oh, God. Don't you dare. There's a live view into Central Park on the TV here. This is like that's the on the crazy. map thing. This tells you where you're going. Wow. I've never seen that's that cool. before. Yeah. We're going fast, but but yeah, um, tomorrow is a day at sea. Um, we have our pets. You just put your knee onto our oh, dog. Oh, my, my babies. And you don't even care. My babies. Look, here's Comet and Peter, and they're both like in the exact same position. Like Both of them have <laughs> one paw out. Yeah. Isn't that adorable? Yeah. Carrie's mom got us this blanket for Christmas. Isn't that nice? So that, yeah. this way, Pete and Comet can come with us on our cruise. Yeah, and we got this dog toy for Comet, for our first mate. For our first mate, but oh, Pete doesn't have anything. Oh no. We have to go back. Well, he probably doesn't deserve it. Oh. We're actually going kind of fast. 20 knots? That's but pretty look, fast. We're going up. Should Why are we, we going, going up? Down? I don't know. Our next stop is St. Kitts, which is like way down there, but we have two days at sea, so I guess we could go wherever we want. We're meandering down. Yeah. First impressions of this ship. I like it. I uh, like it a lot. It's hard to, I mean, like, we're so hyped right now. Yeah. That it's hard to, like, fully judge it. I'm excited to have the next two days as sea days so that we can really oh. like explore, sink in a little bit, and just like get to know Icon of the Seas. Yeah. So far, I really like it. But yeah, we'll see you tomorrow uh, on our day at sea. Good night.